a very good afternoon, good morning. Welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us this Tuesday. Lovely to have your company and glad that you can join us here on another Craft Along. If you are new to one of these, well, it does exactly what it says on the screen, your chance to craft along with us. And today we're going to be looking at the uh, Creator Card Scene Edge dies. And the brilliant thing about this is, is if you've already got them, hopefully you've seen um, all of the details on our um, social media channel so you know exactly what you need to use. However, if you haven't yet got uh, the collection that we're going to be using today, you can grab it today. And then, of course, you can uh, bookmark this show on YouTube. You can subscribe to us, come back to us, uh, and then you can craft along at a later date. It's going to be such a great show. And uh, joining me over the course of the next couple of hours, in fact, tutoring you and crafting along with you is the lovely Debbie Fisher. Afternoon, Debbie. This is going to be awesome, isn't it? Yes. Good afternoon, Ben. And good afternoon out there. Or good morning or good evening, wherever you're watching from. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have so much fun. I absolutely, they're probably my favourite um, shows that we do at the Craft Along. I love I love the pace of them. I like that you can craft along with us. I love that you can then watch back and you can redo them. You can do this card in however, uh, whatever papers that you've got in your stash. Uh, I don't really have a name for it. I think it's sort of like a, a pop-out sliding cards like so that. what we've got here this piece slides behind and it creates then this like pop out uh, effect which is really nice but it does fold flat we are going to do a box at the end to pop it into but if you did want to just post it uh, it probably need quite a big envelope for that but it will uh, fold flat so yeah a nice little uh, detailed card with a little difference there uh, and some of my favorite dies that are out at the moment is the creator card dies they're so beautiful Ben the fact that they cr they create that focal point but then they've got that edgeableness about them which is incredible absolutely and that's a great thing about these particular dies called these like die brids when we um, launched these because you've got the creator card element you've got the edgeable element and we've kind of smooshed them together uh, to create yes yes exactly right um, we're going to have a look with uh, Debbie. Before I just give you details of the actual collection uh, that you can get your hands on, let's go through with Debbie exactly what you will need if you want to craft along with us over the course of the uh, next hour or so. So Debbie, what are we going to need if we want to take part in the craft along? <laughs> <laughs> blankly at the screen <laughs> so what you let me grab my haven't sorry that wasn't it's, it's all here good. for you let Debbie me, here it comes there you go it, I think that's probably what I was expecting to see something on the screen and I should have had all my products at hand sorry about that so what you're going to need is the springtime fairy the creator card die the 12 by 12 paper pad which is the warm which is the contemporary watercolor uh, then your 12 by 12 paper pad which is the warm tones we're going to be using the pink the purple mirror card we're going to be using the um it's like the purple uh, matte finish of that one yeah and you need some white stamping card and then you've got some additional elements that you'll also need yep so we're going to have foam pads if you've got some ribbons some pearls some glitter some nice little embellishments there that you can add along so whatever you've got in your stash uh, then your tape pen your 3d glue gel and some tacky glue of course there you go, everything that you'll need. Hopefully, as I said, if you're planning on crafting along, you've seen all these details on our socials anyway, so you are ready to go. Uh, and we are gonna craft along in real time for you as well. So if you've not seen these before, we don't skip any bits. Um, it could take an hour. I've done craft alongs before where it's taken an hour and a half, but we will do it um, at a nice pace so that you can um, join in with us. Right, if you haven't yet got this collection, um, let me show you through everything that you can get your hands on. So if you wanna grab it now, you can, and then you can craft along um, at a later date what I would say with this particular collection the stock amounts that we have left aren't huge so if you fancy it get in nice and early but the full collection for 64.95 or 74.95 brings you your elegant butterflies which as you can see are super gorgeous I love with these particularly that you've got the play with the wings there as well and of course you can create these um, to make some absolutely beautiful projects so you've got your elegant butterflies within this collection on top of that We've got your birthday party, all about the cakes and the balloons and the bunting going on. Then you've also got uh, this gorgeous um, floral uh, decadence. Again, absolutely stunning. So much room in there for creativity. Um, and then on top of that, afternoon tea, uh, which is all about those beautiful teapots and your teacups. Um, I love all the detail that you've got in these, which we'll um, look at in more detail a little bit later on. Uh, then 
you've got your springtime fairy which um, is the one we've just seen absolutely gorgeous i think you're going to fall in love with these and then last but by no means the least and um, you have got um, your um, gorgeous dragonflies too. Um, the full collection works out at 64.95 or 74.75. Um, you buy five, you get one free. There are two smaller bundles as well if you want to break them down into um, those bundles, but we'll talk more about that um, a little bit later on. As always, you can get in touch with us on the socials on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, any questions that you want to ask um, during the craft along, um, and you know, if we're going too fast, you can let us know and tell us to slow down or anything you want us to recap on, um, you can also do that too. And it may well be that you've already been using these. Let us know how much you love this collection. I think that is everything ticked off and we are ready to go, Debbie. So um, let us get started with the craft along yes definitely so let's get started so what you're going to first need is two pieces of a4 white cardstock so i'm using our stamping card and we're going to cut this card to let me just double check seven inches by eight inches so we're going to take our first piece i am using the large guillotine so i'm just going to bring my step out so we can get that eight inch mark. Uh, you could do it with a ruler. If you don't have a large guillotine, use your glass mat or measurement with a ruler. We're going to do eight inches. So start with, I'm going to pop that right up into my eight inch mark and trim that edge off. And then we're gonna turn our card round and put that against the seven inch mark and then Perfect. fold that down so that's your first piece of card and yep. then we're going to do exactly the same with our second piece of card so again button that up to the top edge to the eight oh make sure you've got that on a flat surface there so you know that you've got the exact measurement so two pieces of card exactly the same so that's our eight inches turn it round and then our seven inches and just a little tip as well, Ben, if you're using our guillotines, because we have this sort of crisscross pattern, I always do it right to, so you can actually see the gap. So I do it to the start of that first line. Yeah. And that way you know that you've got that precise measurement every single time. Okay. So you should now have your two pieces of card that are seven inches by eight inches. And then we're going to bring in our scoreboard. So if you don't have a scoreboard, again, you can measure. You could maybe use your stamping mat uh, and a scoring tool. Or if you uh, have got it, we've got them. Or if you haven't got one, we have got them on the we show as well. We certainly do, yeah. So we're going to turn it round. So our long piece, our eight inch, is across the top. And we're going to score our first part. Put one to the side. And our first one, we're going to score at one, three, and seven inches. So down our corner mark there, which is our first one inch mark. And I just do that a few times. That makes sure that we're getting that really good crease in there. Then we're going to score again at three inches. So just scoring that very lightly, just a few times. And then at seven inches. And there we go. So I'll just recap on that for anyone just catching up and cutting their cardstock. So your cardstock will be eight, to eight inches across the top, yep. seven inches down the side. You butt the seven inches against the side and we're going to score at one inch, three inch and seven inches. Perfect. Okay. Right, let's pop that to the side. All nice and simple. Now, what we're going to do is our first line here, we're going to fold this uh, coming up. So fold it on itself, fold it backwards. And I'm just going to give that a crease so you've got that standing up there. And then the next one we're going to do is push this one up. So you're almost creating that middle section panel. So this bit would be your piece that comes as your mountain fold. And then this one will just be a valley fold. So we'll fold that one back on itself. And that's all your scoring done. So remember, you've got a one inch, a three inch, and a seven, and inch. A seven inch. There you go. See, you've got it. So nice and simple. 
Next, we're going to take our Create a Card die. So I'm using the Springtime Fairy, but you can use any one of these. Each one will work just as well and look just as beautiful. So you just choose what you want to do. You could use perhaps any Create a Card die. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is take the uh, Fairy and where the line is, we're just going to make sure that we've got enough room at the side, which is perfectly fitting. We're going to take our low tack tape and we're just going to affix that to the actual card. Just taking off some of the um, stickiness. Okay. And then I'm just tilting back so I can see that line, making sure that it's still in where we've got that cut. Uh, and I'm just doing it by eye, I would say about sort of, sort of just under a centimetre, a centimetre each top and bottom. And then pop your tape into place. And then we can run that through our machine. Now I'm using the big Gemini, but, um, and actually, I don't think we can fit, no, it's because of the length of the card, uh, we wouldn't be able to fit this through the, um, the Gemini the, Junior the, okay. or the MIDI, uh -huh. yes. But you could do a smaller variant of the card and then you would be able to fit, fit it through different machines. We've just popped up on your screen as well for your details of the full collection if you want to go for it uh, today, which brings you all six elements, um, including those gorgeous, uh, gorgeous springtime fairies. Uh, as I said, not a huge amount of stock, so if you do fancy that today, get it in your basket uh, nice and early, uh, and then you've got that wing in its way to you, and you've got this craft along to come back to uh, when you should receive your goodies, and you'll have a lot of fun with these as well. That's the whole point. Right, so I'm going to then just peel my tape away. I'm just going to turn it over and make sure that we've cut all that beautiful detail, which we have, uh, and then we can take that away. So popping that out, Ooh, and just these yes. last few bits, I'm going to bring in. Now we do have a bundle with this in. It's yeah. one of the, it's such a good tool, um, and you just give that a rub over it. You actually get a um, like a sponge to uh, put it into. So uh, a, sorry, a sponge that you so roll, roll onto. Into, yeah, yeah, roll onto. But we don't have one here at the second. That intricate toolkit, by the way, is uh, well, as you can see, thirteen pounds twenty-five dollars. You do get with that your uh, die brush tool and foam pad, as Debbie's just mentioned. Uh, replacement heads for your die brush tool. You've got your um, all-purpose glue, uh, two fine tip glue applicators, two pokey tools, and a partridge in a pear tree. Uh, but we don't have a lot of stock remaining on those. If you want to grab them, we are fast approaching limited stock. So grab them, super right. handy. Yes, they're amazing, uh, as such good deals, yeah. I'm not surprised, we're getting low on everything. I hope they restock soon, Ben, because otherwise we won't have too much to, uh, to, to sell. Spring will we? sale launch today, you see <gasps> as well, up to 70% off, so that's what, it will, uh, that's what it will be. Stocks are gonna go even lower, hopefully, like you say, we'll, uh, we'll get stock soon, otherwise you and I will be doing uh, song and dance routine probably on the next show together. <laughs> Absolutely. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to use our scoring board. Where this comes round, you'll see that there's a cutting edge that goes from here all the way round. So in fact, if I bend that, you can see that really clearly. Now that line, we need to just then score upwards. And then going down to the bottom part, we can see that line again. We just then score down. In fact, I'm just going to make sure I've got that straight. So I've done that line there. Just go down to the bottom. That's it. Perfect. So we don't have a wonky fairy. Don't want a so wonky fairy. We don't want a wonky fairy, no. So this one then, you can pop these out. So if I just pop all these bits through there, you just bend these into the side, pop all these bits out as well. There we go, that's it. And that gives us our score line. Then the reason I didn't score that line in to start with when we did our other score lines is because then you would score down your actual fairy uh, and I didn't want to uh, score into that fairy. So that's our main element uh, done on our uh, fairy there. And we're gonna be doing lots more detail. I'm gonna also trim this bit off. So let me just come across here. Because this bit will keep catching, I'm just gonna get my scissors and we're just gonna, got big scissors there, let me find my smaller scissors. And all I'm gonna do is cut off yep. just this bit here. Okay. And that way, can you see, it just opens up our fairy uh, there and yes. then it doesn't catch. So uh, we've got all those other bits there. And I think I might do the same just with this one so that doesn't catch as well. So cutting them off, you won't notice them at all, but it means it will just open and shut beautifully. 
And I've got a feeling, yes, oh no, that was right. We're gonna just fold this one back. So, fold this one forward. I think I might have folded it the wrong way before because that will be your slider part. Oh, That's yeah, it. there we you go. You see, uh -huh. then this bit that will slide, will slide under the tab. Under it? The tab. Got so, you. yeah, so it's come, uh, come uh, together really beautifully. So, shall we recap on exactly what we've done, Ben? Yeah, that'd be yeah? lovely. Thank you. So, let me grab another piece of card. So our piece of cards, so I'm just going to run through this quite quickly to allow people to catch up and do their die cutting and snip away. So we're going to take our piece of card, which is 8 inches by 7 inches. We're then going to score at 1 inch, at 3 inches and at 7 inches. So that's all the score lines that you need. And you can make different variants of this card just by doing uh, different sizes. And then this one, which I said before we fold down, we're going to actually fold the back on itself. Uh -huh. That's it. That makes more sense then. Then we're going to fold this one going upwards. And then this one going this way. So that gives us our part here. Because I was thinking this bit needs to pop out, but what it is, is we put that score line in afterwards. You're then going to take your die cut and place your die cut on, this, uh, on the second line, so on your third inch score line, uh -huh. leaving the same amount of gap top and bottom, which is about a centimetre. You're then going to die cut this out. Yep. When you've die cut it, we're then going to add in those score lines yep. to work with the actual fairy, and then we're going to trim this section out and this section out here, and it just helps with then it not catching. Perfect. And there we go, that's created our top of our card. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do our mats and layers to make it all pretty. Okay. We're also, the second part, so we had two pieces the same, our seven by our eight inches. We're going to be decorating the back panel. This is going to be the back of your card. So let's pop all our workings out of the way. Do let us know on uh, Facebook if you are crafting along on YouTube as well, and uh, do let us know if the pace is okay for you. I think we're going along at a nice steady pace. Uh, pace? Pace? Definitely pace, not paste. Uh, Facebook and YouTube, just let us know if you are crafting uh, and if you are uh, enjoying the pace of the show so far. Loads of you already in watching uh, from Calgary is Tracy, Deborah's in, uh, also uh, Keela from Germany, Mary from snowy Colorado, Dawn from Croydon, uh, and June from Scotland, all in. And Mary Lee just saying, I love the Craft Along programs. They're really inspiring and the pace is so good, um, it makes me think I could make that. Mary Lee, you could make that, definitely. And that's what we're here for, because you get the collection then, even if you're not crafting along now, you can come back to this show at your leisure and craft along with the digital Debbie. Because she won't be obviously live when you watch this back, but at the same time, um, it will be brilliant. The fact that you get this, then you can go onto YouTube, find the show and craft along. Not many places you get that, is there? Like a free tutorial with all of the goodies um, that you buy. Um, and so super excited to see this project today. The happy birthday die just arrived yesterday. Just to ask we um, give people a little bit of a chance to catch up. Um, just want to quickly recap on the deal for you. Um, so you can see everything that you're going to get within this collection. And as we said, the great thing about this is it is kind of like the combination um, of our creator cards and our edgeables bringing you this super, super versatility. Now, um, with the full bundle, you're basically getting six of these, but it works out that you're only paying for five, um, and you are going to get the gorgeous, elegant butterflies. Uh, funnily enough, Terry Tom Anderson has just said, I am going for the Schmetterlings for my friend's birthday. She's in Germany. Schmetterlings is the German word, isn't it? What is it in French? Is it pa papillon? Papillon. Papillon. Or Mariposa in Spanish as well, uh, says producer. George. Look at that, you see, not only crafty, but educational as well. I learn so much when I'm here. What is, what is it in Italian? That's what I want to know now. Um, birthday party is your second. What I love about these as well, you've got some really, really cute sort of uh, vintage designs and you've got something here which is like, you know, really fun, really funky with your birthday party. And then you've also got uh, these splendid sunflowers as well. The um, reason I'm showing you those three sort of half separately is that does make up a smaller bundle if you want to go for three. So you get those three available um, in a smaller bundle for you. There you go. So £35 or $40 saving 10%. And the next three are also available in a smaller bundle for you, which you'll see the details for 
here. But for me, if you basically, if you love the concept of this, you're going to love all of them. So you are best to kind of go for the full, full bundle because it works out that you get one of them uh, for free. Um, but afternoon tea is um, next on the horizon. Who doesn't love a little bit of afternoon tea? There's so much detail in the die cuts here, even so much as you look down here and you see the little um, tea bag hanging out of the cup, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. Then also within this collection, what we're using just now is your springtime fairy. So that's the one that Debbie's currently using um, in our craft along. And then finally, you've got your um, delicate dragonflies as well, which is uh, producer George's uh, favourite. They're all gorgeous in their own right, really. Um, but w whichever way, you are going to love working with these. Grab them whilst you can, because as I've said, stock is not massive um, on these. And I have a feeling that um, a lot will go during this show. Um, we've also got um, some gorgeous card for you on the show as well. Uh, the card we've got, um, if you head to the website, you'll see all of the deals that we've got as part of our spring sale. But these are um, any four for £30 or $42. And the great thing is, particularly with it, you've got everything that you need here, because we've got white stamping card, for example, A4, 60 sheets, 300 GSM, uh, 9 99 or 14 99 um, it, Kind of... A, all of the colours that you want really. You've then got your craft card stock if you want to go for that. Again, A4 50 sheets, that is 280 GSM, uh, 9.99 or 14.99. And then your matte black card stock as well. Uh, 40 sheets here, 300 GSM. Um, so mix and match these up. Um, matte black, craft card stock, and your white stamping card. Add one more of those into your basket and then you've got that, haven't you? Um, four for 30 or 42, which is a super deal. Um, mention the great deals and we talk about things selling out. It is our spring sale now on as well. Uh, if you head to the website, this runs through until Friday next week. So the 30th of April, uh, there are some bargains. If you were watching Wake Up Call a little bit earlier on, you will have seen ridiculous prices. Um, things like the layering stencils, double-sided dies. We had like a collection of layering stencils on for about seven pounds which was ridiculous uh, prices silly silly low so even if you've only got a few quid a couple of bucks to spend it is definitely worth having a look uh, and get those deals whilst they're there because I have a feeling they will not last right hopefully everybody's caught up um, lots of you saying you're having uh, a lovely time with this good morning says Aisha uh, hi Ben and Debbie two days in a row Debbie yippee uh, and Valerie just saying uh, crafters companion all of you are super fantastic uh, you care about us uh, and I must admit I'm a CC devotee absolutely we do and that's why we do these craft alongs for you uh, so that you can get involved I've got some questions coming up but we'll tackle those in a minute because I think it is time uh, to come back to uh, the next part of the demo so everybody's caught up I think everybody's enjoying the pace where do we go next? Brilliant. I love it. I just love a craft along and I'm so happy you're all crafting along. And don't forget to send us your pics at the end of them yes. um, or post them. It will be uh, amazing to see them uh, and to see your take on them and the pads that you've used if you've used different ones, which would be great. So I'm using one of my favourites, uh, which is a contemporary watercolour. Uh, I adore this paper pad. It's double sided. It has beautiful. So you, this monotone is what I used in the, um, we made the album yesterday. Uh, from yes. the album spine uh -huh. uh, so really gorgeous colors in there but they really go through to all these different beautiful sort of water wash colors so we're going to take out one page of this pink one and then we're going to go into our blues and grab the same one in a blue but i'm actually not using this pattern side i'm going to use the blue on the background uh, and then the other one we're going to use is this one here just to use a little flowery border so we're going to do our card in our pinks and our blues. Uh, the next thing that we're going to need is, so I'm going to grab my um, warm tones, warm tones. So you can see, oh look, this is well loved and used <laughs> our uh, book cool, here. Yeah. At least all uh, the bits to put in the back that people have used. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So I'm going to go right to the back and we're going to use this beautiful magenta colour. Uh, I absolutely adore this. It's really a beautiful colour. Uh, and then we've also got, so that tones in with this gorgeous mirror card that we've got which is our luxury purple mirror card so we've got all our papers that we need so I'm going to pop all my um, pads to the side so we're going to start with our back piece first so let's get that decorated we're going to be using uh, the gorgeous blue on this side and I'm going to be bringing in my guillotine and we're going to trim that down so let's bring this in 
and cut our back. So our back piece is seven by eight. So what I want to do is do it slightly smaller to fit in there. So again, oh, doesn't want to go through there. I'm going to bring out my step. So whatever way you measure this, whether you're doing it by ruler and a craft knife or marking it on your glass mat or using your guillotine, uh, the guillotine's great because I know that I can go to my eight inches and then I can come in from that. So I'm only doing one increment coming in and we're going to chop that piece down. And then I'm going to go across, turn it round and then I'm going to go to my seven inches and again come in that one increment down from the seven and that will give me my perfect matten layer so I'm going to bring in that blank piece that we didn't use and when we pop that into place that will give us just a very slight rim around the edge so this gives us our back part I also want to add that extra panel on to make it look different so if I bring in this one here you can see we've got this back piece here uh, okay. and then we've got another panel here so we're mm. going to cut a strip off here which is our papers that are on this end I mean you might find that in your book you've in your paper pads uh, you've got lots of extra pieces that you can trim off so what I'm going to do here I'm just going to check my instructions on there we're going to cut a piece which is uh, can't even think. I'm going to measure the piece that I've done because uh, when you've got instructions that are all over there, so we're going to bring that in to just under my two and a half. So let's pop that there. And I know I've already cut my pieces, but I want to do it because we're crafted along with you. So yeah. I want to make sure we've got that exact measurement. And obviously, so, the great thing is, Laura's just said, I'm crafting along with totally different fairy cards, so because uh, I don't have this collection. I mean, we've obviously told you the kind of things that you do, but if you want to choose, you know, different papers, that, or if you want to use one of the that different, totally wrong. Uh, if you want to use <laughs> one of the different uh, designs, that is entirely up to you. And that's the thing you see with these craft alongs as well, warts and all. Um, two and a half, and I done it under the two. That's uh, why. Okay. There we go. So okay. two and a half. So just slightly one increment under that two and a half. That's what it is. Yes. Sorry, Ben, carry on. No, I was just saying, you know, we obviously suggest what you need to use if you want to create exactly the same card, but if you're using, you know, different uh, papers, for example, you're still going to get the, um, the same effect with this. And uh, like Deborah was saying, send in your pictures afterwards as well, because we always love to see uh, what you've been making whilst you've been crafting along with us. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Um, and we are really busy. Loads of you watching right now, lots of you taking advantage of the, uh, the deal as well, and hopefully be crafting along with a later date, which will be quite nice. Right, so let's get this bit stuck down and then we'll start to do our mat and layers for the front of our card. So popping them to the side, bring in my right pieces in. What I'm also going to do as well is just to highlight this, I'm going to bring in my black ink pad. So I'm just using uh, a nor black. Uh, and all this will do, I'm just going round the actual edges. Yeah. I just want to give that a little bit of a highlight. Okay. And it will just make it stand out. It's these little touches that you don't realise at the time. Makes but they all the really difference. do. Yeah, because they draw your eye in more. They're actually giving it a frame. What's the ink pad you're using there? So I'm just using Nor Black, the Water Reactive Harmony ink pads. Okay. You can use any dark. I mean, your navy would be nice. Um, but yeah, just a black one, just to go around the edges. And that just highlights and draws your eye in there. And then we're going to stick all these pieces down. Um, Heidi Craft Pit has just mentioned, hi everyone, just ordered the Dragonfly die with some spring sale bargains and the Aquamarker set. Woot. I love says. that Dragonfly one. What, what, is that your favourite in the collection? Well, do you know what, Ben? I'm a bit like, that's my favourite, but then I look at the others and think, yeah. no, that's my favourite. And yeah, it's, uh, it's a difficult one because I do love the butterfly. I yeah. love the fairy. Yeah. I even love the teacups. Oh, yeah. That, the, I love that one. That's one of my, I think that's my, my, my favourite. Just for the fact, and I know it's something so simple. I, I pointed out to you earlier on. Just the detail, the fact that you've got a little oh, yeah. tea bag. Uh, yeah. at the end of the tea bag <laughs> hanging out of the cup it's just so much detail in the dies which I absolutely love but you're, you're going to love all of these even the, uh, the birthday party with the cake and the balloons is is just phenomenal there's so much to love about this collection yeah so much to love it's absolutely beautiful 
So I'm just going to bring this in so you can see exactly what we're doing. So we're making this panel at the, at the side and we're going to bring that in on here. Um, just uh, well, well, what I tell you what we'll do, maybe if we can reiterate um, on the recap, there's a few people just asking about the measurements of the, um, the different cutouts here. So I think once you've done this particular part of the craft along, if we then can recap on the measurements for you so you've got um, all of those. Um, and Teresa is just asking, um, crafting along but only have a junior, uh, is there a card size we can use to create this card? So we won't be able to do this in the junior, no? So what I would say, Ben, is uh, with the junior, it can't be more than six inches. Right. So what I would say is these ones here, uh, let me go from the bottom, uh, this is seven inches. Now, your die is exactly six inches. Right. So it wouldn't give you any leeway at the side to be able to do it. So I would say not, not this type of card. Um, but what you could do is do it as separate panels. Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah, so you could do it. Yeah. So you have, you could attach, you could make this panel. So you could make a panel. Let's try and simplify this. You could make a panel three inches by seven inches uh -huh. uh, and score it at one inch at the side. Uh, and then what you would do, in fact, let me do that again. I would score it at three and a half inches do a, a half an inch and then you would do your two inches and that little bit could stick onto it. Okay. So you could cut out the panel and then just have little tabs that stick onto the top. The only way you could do it in a smaller machine is to break it down and then do this bit on its own. So your fairy would just be like this. Yeah. And then you would add that extra bit on Afterwards. because you would mm -hmm. be able to fit that into the Gemini because it wouldn't be more than six inches. So there's always ways and means. There is ways there. and means, always yeah. Ways there's ways always it. ways around it, yes. So, but it just means you have to do that in different parts. Okay. Oh, knocking everything flying well, now. that's normally my job, don't you? <laughs> or Debbie's. I hear, oh, Debbie, bless her, was offended because I said she was the one that was clumsy in the, um, they'd done the play your crafts right on Saturday. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. What, what were the other um, choices though with that question? Who, what is it, who was most likely to knock over the set or who was Who was the most clumsiest? Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually I would have put myself first because I'm quite clumsy. I've never really noticed that with you. I trip over things. Oh, okay. And knock into things. I've, I'm always bruising my legs because I'm knocking into a door or, yeah. But our Debbie is a little bit clumsy. Joe's clumsy. Joe, and actually afterwards, Joe is very clumsy, so yeah. it could have been either of them. It was a tough call, but I said Debbie, so sorry, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't mean it. I found touch wood since we moved to the new studios. I've been less likely, because we've got a bit, be careful, Ben, because yeah. we've got a bit more room here, I'm less likely to knock stuff over in the old studios. This is all the time, all the time. All the time, all the time. Right, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take our darker piece of card. So our beautiful magenta. I mean, it's gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, darker as in it's not a pow pink mm. it's our darker color pink so it's like our magenta so we're going to bring this one in and this is the one we're going to mat and layer so i am going to bring my um reference my uh cutting out and then we will go through that again afterwards so what we're going to do is we're going to trim a piece of this to six and seven eighths by seven uh, by seven eighths so because we're going to take some strips off okay. so let me bring in again my guillotine we don't need to extend it so I'm going to trim this down to six and a three quarters I'm just checking I've got the right ones here sorry six and seven Eight. eighths of an inch okay so that's just that one increment before the six so if it helps your scoreboard will have all these are what we class as the increments. So you could, if you wanted to, we could pop, pop it on here and then you could do your score line if that helps. So you've got six and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighths of an inch. So we can just score down there and that way you'll know you've got that perfect precision if you do have a guillotine that doesn't give you those increments. So again, we're gonna score exactly into this part here uh, and there we go so it works out in fact it was 
Yes, that's it. Yep. <laughs> doubting yourself now for a second. I was doubting myself that I'd done the right thing, yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do this at just under. Uh, so we're going to do it. Let me, sorry, confuse. I don't want to confuse you by doing too many different things at once. <laughs> We're going to take it onto our scoreboard yeah. where your inch mark is. We're going to go down one increment. Okay. So just one down there. Uh, and we're going to trim that off. And you want two of those panels. I think that's the easiest way to do it is on the scoreboard and uh, trim, trim those panels off. And again, pop that back onto your scoreboard. Yeah. One increment under the one inch to score down and then trim that off. We have got the scoreboards on the show for you as well. If you haven't got one of those and you're thinking that you want to be able to, uh, you know, do as Debbie is doing, that is on the show for you too. The score master board and the envelope box creator. That's a heck of a deal as well. 18 pounds or $23, saving 30% uh, worth popping into your basket. Again, just make life a little bit easier for you, I think, particularly with, you know, a project like this, when you've got um, a lot of scoring to do, that is absolutely perfect for it. So our next one we're going to do, we're going to do uh, the same, but we're doing a six and seven eighths of an inch, which is what we've already got across the top. But this time we're going to be cutting them down at two. Uh, let me find my my um, uh, two and by one and seven eighths of an inch. Tell you what, there's so many measurements here, isn't it? The great, the good thing is, of course, as well, is you can always watch this show back afterwards. Mm -hmm. And we'll recap on everything after. Do you know what it is, Ben? Yeah. And I will, everyone knows what I'm like, so I will explain this. When I do my measurements normally, I put it to my card. Yeah. I put my finger now on it and bend it. Oh, right. So you don't bother I with don't numbers. bother measuring it. I don't bother with numbers. So then I have to, and then I cut where I think it is. Yeah. But because that doesn't help anybody that's crafting along. So I have to write all the, them down when I've actually measured them out. So I know exactly uh, what I'm doing. So those measurements will fit into <laughs> all those pieces. But I, I've got them all wrote down. All my notes are wrote down. And I will recap all of those notes uh, and all all of the measurements as we go through so Great. You, uh, you can at least write them down but I hope let us know if you're not following or you need me to do it in a little while and then we can just once we've stuck it down in fact before we stick it all down let's measure them all yep. and show you all the measurements for each section I think that will be the best way absolutely right that'd be great so for those of you who are asking about what size was that piece what size was the next piece we'll recap um, on it all I didn't realize that you just crafted by by sort of by eye I know, I, I've got to admit, yeah. I do get a bit confused sometimes when I hear fractions like seven eighths I know. and five sixths yeah. and stuff uh, exactly like... yeah so I know there's eight increments in a um, uh, in, in an inch uh, but when you're breaking them all down and trying to relay and also it could be confusing because some people might work in centimeters as oh, well yes. so but at least with the score if you've got a scoreboard you've got inches and centimeters on both sides so we're going to come in one from the two so it's seven and seven eighths of an inch so scoring that down and, in, and then we'll trim that one off. So trim that one down and then do exactly the same because we need two pieces of those because these are all our mats and layers. So one before the two again. So seven and seven eighths, at one and seven eighths of an inch and then cutting them down. We have unfortunately got to go through this all again, Ben, to uh, do the pattern paper to mat and layer. <laughs> this is like back along when the kids were homeschooling. I was having to do fractions with my, uh, with my nine year old. I, I feel like I learned a lot, but now listening to you talking about one and seven eighths and stuff makes me think that I didn't actually take it all in and I need to go over and redo it again. So we are getting, we're absolutely getting there. So what you've got, you've got two of each strip. Okay. So you're, you've got your first strip, which is just seven eighths of an inch. And then you've got one and seven eighths of an inch and you've got two of those. Okay. And then we're going to do the mats and layers now to go with them using your beautiful florally card. Florally, I don't think florally is a word, is it? It is now. <laughs> what did it, I come up with earlier? Now. I mean, I, came, I came up with a oh, followable was a new word. Uh, like, followable. 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 As in follow. Yeah, is that not a word? I don't think it is, is it? Followable. Followable. This is very followable. Well, you'd just say it's very easy to follow, wouldn't you, if you were normal? But I came up with the word. Sounds like a brilliant word. Oh, well, maybe it is a word then. I, I just thought it sounded a bit weird earlier on. Followable. 
but anyway. Vulnerable. We'd have to check on it. Perhaps George can, uh, can yeah. check on it for us. So, <laughs> so what we're doing is um, we're doing six and uh, three quarters. So we okay. want six and three quarters of an inch. So popping that onto there. So that will give us, if I just bring these strips, that will give, the, give us a tiny amount on the edges. Uh, of, to be able to mat and layer those. Okay. So once we've done that, we then need to do our strips. So this time we're gonna go in, if I turn it over, we'll be able to see it a little bit better. We're gonna actually go in at slightly smaller. So we're gonna do three quarters of an inch. And I'm gonna do it, so I'm gonna turn that round, just do the same on the other side because that will just be quicker. We can cut those two ends off and then that will create those extra pieces. So these are just, uh, have I done, uh, hang on, let me just uh, recap, recap, three quarters of an inch. Rewind, yes. yes. And then the other one, sorry, not three quarters, a quarter, yeah, it was three yeah, quarters three of quarters, an inch. Yeah. Oh dear, I'm, it's all these, <laughs> all these mathematical figures I'm confusing myself with. So that will give us a slightly smaller rim and it will just give us that edge yeah. all the way round, which Brilliant. is perfect. We got there. We got there, Ben. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here, Debbie. I tell you what, it'd be carnage if I was doing this somewhere. <laughs> yeah. All these figures, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, that's it. It's just uh, once you've got your paper yes. sorted and you know what your measurements are, we are definitely getting there. And then our next one, we want to do that at. Uh, can't even think now what we've done this at. So we've done this at. Let's do it on the scoreboard. That's much easier, isn't it? It's, you know what? I can't even work out my own working. So we want to do this on one and, a, and three quarters. Right. So one and three quarters onto here. The scoreboard's coming in real handy today. This is why can't you need it in your life. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So I'm doing that at both ends. And that way we can then just trim those off. So that's our first one. Turn it round and our second one. There we go. Right, so we've got our two pieces here. So our two pieces are one piece to mat and lay out with this one and then this one. Uh -huh and then our two small ones. So we're gonna stick these together and I think we'll have a breather. I'm gonna write down then the measurements before we stick them on and then we'll go through exactly what the measurements are. Does that sound like a plan? It, it does sound like an absolute <laughs> plan and I defi definitely think, um, yes, a breather is in order after all of those uh, facts and figures. But of course, the great thing is we will recap um, but obviously doing the show live right now, you, you, you know, you can't obviously rewind, but once we've done the show, you can then uh, rewind the show. You could save the show via YouTube and you can come back to it. And so if you missed a little bit, you missed a particular measurement, uh, you can go back, rewatch it, get it, you know, even write it all down. Watch the show before you craft, write down all the measurements um, and then craft along knowing the measurements before you do it. It might make it a little bit easier for you. So um, Debbie is just sticking those uh, mats and layers together the other side of the studio. So um, shall we just go through a few bits and pieces that we've got over here for you. Um, so uh, your luxury cardstock. I love these collections because you get a little bit of uh, everything that you fancy with these. Uh, you are gonna get uh, 10 sheets of your uh, glitter card, 10 sheets of your matte mirror, and 10 sheets of your mirror card. This is phenomenal um, because, as I say, you get just, oh, you, you'll get full sheets, not a little half sheet that we've got in there. But you've got your glitter card, encapsulated glitter, of course, so it just makes it so much easier to work with. You've then got, and I promise you, you will get a full set. You've got your mirror card and then your matte mirror included in there as well. Uh, 9.99 or 15.95 individually, but again, this does qualify for our mix and match um, with the cardstock on the website. So any four for uh, 30 or 42. We've then got your um, purple, again, 10 sheets of your glitter card, 10 sheets of your uh, matte mirror and 10 sheets of your mirror card. Uh, this is the color that of course uh, Debbie has been using. That is gorgeous, isn't it? I think you might be using your any four for 30 or 42 um, on these because they are stunning. So there's your purple. You've then got your ice blue, 
Ice, ice blue. Do, 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 do. Um, so again, there's your um, gorgeous glitter. I love the, uh, the complementing colours there as well. You've got that gorgeous glitter, the sparkly glitter, and then you've got your gorgeous uh, mirror and then your uh, matte mirror included in there too. So 10 sheets of each, 30 sheets in total. And then last but by no means least, your green. Um, again, gorgeous. I, lo I love, I know I always go on about it, our glitter card is phenomenal, isn't it? The fact that it is all encapsulated, the fact that you still get that sparkle of the glitter, but it's not going to go all over the shop. Again, 10 sheets of that, 10 sheets of the mirror card, and then 10 sheets of that um, matte mirror as well. 9 99 15 95 any four for 30 or 42 is the deal on those. Just very quickly as well, you are not missing a thing, by the way. I just want to quickly show you the um, A3 Centura Pearl. This is Gorge. So, Gorge. It's Gorge, George. As in gorgeous, gorgeous Georges. We've got both the Georges in the gallery today. Uh, George squared. And this is Gorge for George. Uh, you have got uh, gorgeous colours here. <laughs> not gorgeous, gorgeous. This is your Snow White hint of silver um of course centura pearl can, th this is one of those things again that you you'll appreciate more when you get home um but actually uh, it is gorgeous hopefully you're just seeing that hint of uh, silver come through uh but when you get this home i, I don't want to criticize the camera too much because yesterday and adam told me off but it, it looks nice on camera but when you get it home it looks even better all right is what, is what i, what I want to say one would say that this is absolutely Gorgeous, gorgeous, I mean. Uh, so you get 25 sheets of your Snow White in the hint of silver. You're then gonna get your gorgeous hint of gold as well. I'm just gonna do it to wind them up now. Uh, it is absolutely lovely, opulent. 25 sheets of that. And then look at all of these divine sort of, um, pastel colours if you like. I think these are really, really nice colours to kind of go with the uh, springtime feel. You've got that Centura Pearl um, detailing coming through uh, and the fact that you're going to get 70 sheets of this uh, A3 size for £22 or £33.50. I again think that that is a deal that you need to be snapping up. It's, in, it's entirely up to you really, isn't it? I mean, the, the A3 is lovely. We've got the deals on the um, A4 luxury cardstock as well. But if you need cardstock, you need to stock up. Uh, that is the way to go. Uh, and of course, if you want to go for the Scoremaster, again, super handy is this. You've seen um, Debbie using this right throughout um, the show, all of the demos. And actually, they're the kind of things, I suppose, that you, you know, if you were sort of building a craft room from scratch, if you like, there's a few items that you'd want to have in there from the start. And I certainly think these would be in there. Your score master, you're going to use time and time and time again, as we're seeing here for creating um, all your scores in your, um, your cards, for things like your boxes as well. It is super handy um, and perfect, of course, for your A4 card. You've also got with this your Envella box created too. So again, particularly when you think about the size of card that you're going to be making here, really handy for creating those Envella boxes. Uh, and again, for £18 today or $23, it's something to think about. I know loads of you probably already got these and you use them day in, day out, but super handy items to have in your craft room um, that you need to be thinking about getting if you don't already have them. Um, lots of lovely comments still coming in. Thank you for all of these. Shannon Major saying, I've been loving watching this. Just got this set. I will enjoy watching later when I get back. Thank you for now for a beautiful, beautiful set. Uh, Ayesha just saying, Debbie has been using this paper pad a lot. I think I'm finally going to be putting it into my cart. <laughs> uh, so pretty. Um, um, and Dawn Marie on YouTube saying so much inspiration. Let us know again. I know I've already asked and I've not had any complaints just yet. Uh, but there's still time. Um, let us know how the pace is for you. Are you keeping up? Are you crafting along? Do let us know in the comments. Lots of uh, questions about those mats and layers and the sizes. So we will recap on that. Um, are you ready for this? I don't know if you've got a pen and paper handy. Uh, if you want to jot this down. But it is now time to go over to... The queen of measurements, the lady who knows <laughs> all about her fractions more than I do. Uh, Debbie, right, what are the measurements? Yeah, I didn't make that easy at all, did I? No, so you did. I'm gonna... <laughs> fine, it was fine. 
Uh, do you know what it is? I think next time when I do measurements like that, I'm going to write it on a separate piece of paper because when you've got like this is this is my list. So when you've got everything is wrote that down, your list that's my list of instructions. No you find so them. it's finding it, and so I'm gonna I've wrote them on a separate piece of paper, and we're going to completely simplify uh, simplify them. Uh, right. So let me do the first small ones. You are going to need. So let's do the backs of them first. So for your mats and layer, you're going to need two strips. Now these two strips are going to be six and seven eighths of an inch by seven eighths of an inch. Uh, so you need two of those. Then you're going to cut your mat and layer coordinating papers and you're going to do these by six and three quarter. So six and three quarter by three quarters. So I hope that makes much more sense. So I will just recap on them again. So it gives you a chance to write down. You need your pink one. So your base layer is six and seven eighths of an inch by seven eighths of an inch. And then your coordinating papers on the top are six and three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. Then you're going to need two of this size. So two of your base layers. These are going to be six and uh, sorry, six and seven eighths of an inch by one and seven eighths of an inch. Okay, so two of those, six and seven eighths of an inch by uh, one and seven eighths of an inch. And then your mats and layers are going to be six and three quarters by one and three yes. quarters. Okay, does that make much more it, sense? Do you know what? Because I've just been doing my practice in my head because, yeah, because one and three quarters is like a quarter down, uh, isn't it? <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> we got there. Yes. We got there eventually. I hope that helped. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, listen, we are going to press the pause button just for a second. If you've been taking some notes there, uh, hopefully you've now got all the detail. But as I said, the great thing is you can come back and watch this again later. I know that there will be lots of you doing that and crafting along um, in your own time time so uh, that's the great thing you can come back and think what those measurements again you can just rewind and watch subscribe to us on YouTube uh, pop this one into your favorites playlist and you can come back to it anytime you so wish I cannot believe we are almost an hour into the show um, so we'll come back with the next part of the demo and um, whilst we do that if you've bought any items so far there's a lot of chat about the cardstock in the comments actually so if you've got any goodies in your basket in your cart right now now is the opportune moment to uh, check out those carts check out those baskets and when you come back we shall continue Continue with your craft along. We'll see you in a second. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV, and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers, and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello ask us some questions and lull with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Welcome back. If you have just joined us, a very well welcome to our craft along. And if you're thinking, ah, oh, 53 minutes in, I missed it. You can catch up. Do not worry. Uh, you'll be able to watch this show back. One thing I do just want to bring to you before we chat further about this craft along, uh, coming up a little bit later on, seven o'clock tonight as part of launch party, Crafters Inspiration, issue 30, uh, it is here, 72. Um, uh, brilliant, creative makes inside, loads of freebies in there too, uh, loads of inspiration, loads of ideas, loads of demos. We will be um, unboxing this, if you like, a little bit later on to see exactly what is in there, having a little flick through for you too. Uh, but for now, Grab it now whilst you can, because uh, I have a feeling when uh, lots of people are tuning in at seven o'clock UK or three o'clock East Coast, that is going to be flying out of the door. Right, we are doing your craft along with your creator card, Scene Edge dies. Uh, we are away with the fairies today. Uh, so let us go back over 
Well, yeah, thanks very much, George. Speak for yourself, she says. Uh, let's go back over to the other side of the studio uh, with our Debbie. So we've got kind of like most of the components ready and raring to go, haven't we? Yes. So there's one more bit of die cutting that we're going to do, and that's where our uh, mirror card comes into play. So we're going to take our die cut again, and I'm just going to cut this out. So I'm just going to trim my card. It doesn't have to be any size. We're just going to trim this round just so we can die cut this out because we're going to use this one as a shadow for our card so taking our gemini plates popping that through and just die cutting that one out so nice and simple so whatever card uh, whatever colors you're doing in your card i would suggest just do a coat of coordinating card uh, to come round the edges on the background and it will just make the fairy pop out a little bit more. Shannon's just asked, talking to card, can you print onto Centura Pearl? Um, uh, I wouldn't, I would say no. no. Yes, I think the only way, I was thinking if you had one of these, is it an inkjet, not an inkjet, something else printer. Um, but even then, I don't think it would be fast drying enough. It would, it would really smudge. The only way you could probably do it, I would say you could print onto it and then you'd have to spray it oh, with something to, to, kind of fix to, come, it. Yeah, to yeah, fix it, yeah. yes. But uh, no, I would say it's not um, printable because it has a shiny surface. Yes. So taking this out, but this time we're going to cut this whole thing out because we're just going to pop it behind our card. So bringing in your scissors, I'm just going to snip around these bits here and then just cut off there. And we're going to do the same onto this base bit. And then where that line is, we can just trim that. I mean, you could do it in your guillotine or just use your scissors because you're not really going to see that. Because what we're going to do with that is shadow that underneath. So if we bring this one back in, what we want to do is just slightly, so take it into, oh, let's take all our bits out first. Let's do that. Where's my dye brush? So I think that's caught them all. There we go. So popping that through and just making sure that this edge doesn't interfere with your folded edge because what we are going to do is just bring that slightly forward can you see yeah. that's just giving us that really beautiful layer coming through so what we now want to do we want to attach here we're going to use our dotty tape pen but I don't want to get any, this is going to be covered, this end bit. We're going to fold this in half and I'm going to do this bit first and then we'll go on to this piece. So grab yourself a scrap piece of card just so when we use our dotty tape pen, it's not going to go anywhere other than that scrap piece of card. And then just take your time with putting your dots on. You can, in fact, we do have the little, um, and I am going to use this in a little while, but your little uh, bottles oh, yes. that you can put your tacky glue in and that will work fabulously. That comes in your adhesive collection, doesn't it? With your, um, with your die brush tool, your intricate yes. um, tools collection, which we don't, oh, which is now limited stock. Uh, there's green on the screen, which means it soon won't be seen. Thank you, George. George was I was concentrating on my glue. No, I know you were. I didn't blame you. <laughs> I didn't blame you at all, Debbie. I heard George do the reply, so that's the main thing. And I know everyone was uh, shouting along at home as well. <laughs> I think. You'd hope so. You would hope, You'd hope yeah. so. After all this time. <laughs> after all this time. <laughs> for goodness sake. Oh, dear. <laughs> Yes, sorry. And I probably, if I'm honest though, Ben, I probably wouldn't have remembered what to say, but I was concentrating on making sure I'm getting my dots covered. Well, I would here. rather you concentrated on what you were doing than messing about with uh, my silly <laughs> things that I do. It's much more important what you're doing over there. Don't so, listen to me. Don't listen. Oh, I always listen to you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I just mm. choose what to filter out. Yeah. You sound like my wife. <laughs> I always listen to you, darling. 
<laughs> it's like selective hearing though. Selective hearing. Yeah, I can yeah. turn that on and off though as well, don't you worry about well, that. Well, that's very true. Yes, that's the thing, isn't it, that we have to uh, watch out for. So when you're doing this, we've put our glue on. I'm just going to slightly offset it. Um, in fact, I'm going to use it against this dark piece of card so you can see what I'm doing, which will make it much easier. So we can see that base. So you can see the white. So what I want is for that white to be looking like it's giving me a shadow. So all where that is, where her leg is, her face, just turning it round so you know that you're getting that shadow line. I'm just making sure, trying to match up those um, little, there we go, those little flowers. It's because this one is slightly bent. There we go, that's making me making it look a bit better so just position that slightly over and that will then give you your beautiful shadow okay oh, and if you yeah. do have so like this bottom bit here let me just make sure that's oh it did go underneath just make sure that that pops underneath so then when we bring that round oh, that just gives fantastic. us that beautiful ombre so what i would say is give that a rub down if you've got one i'm just looking to see if we've got one to the side um i was hoping to find but i'm going to use my ruler actually uh, i'm just going to go across so it keeps it flat but it's just rubbing that all into those gaps so it holds it all down tell you what a little bit intricate a little bit uh, fiddly potentially but actually mm -hmm. that is w that's worth the effort isn't it oh to totally that it, that's brilliant yeah it? it makes such a difference and really allows that to pop through huh, there yeah. and, and then when you move it you get that shine coming from there as well which is amazing so yeah a nice little work bit that you can add on then we're going to do our panels so let's start popping these in now this panel is going to sit behind so it's going to cover up your work workings here so what you want to do is when you turn it over you can see you don't want to put glue onto these pieces so we want to put glue just where the white is so I'm going to turn that round and that's where I'm going to bring in my little intricate pot and we're going to start sticking around those edges um, thank you Shadaya who's just messaged on uh, Facebook saying green on the screen soon not to be seen there you go Lord Ben I, love oh, quite, I don't know where I've got this nice. Lord title from, but I really like it. Thank you. Um, what's that? Oh, hang on a minute. Ah. Oh, the uh, intricate, the intricate, um, <laughs> intricate adhesive bundle is my other catchphrase. Don't scream and shout, because it's now... Sold out! Hey, remember that one? That was, it's gone. It's well done <laughs> if you got it. Congratulations. Yeah. That's going to be uh, perfect to use with uh, <laughs> this craft log as well. Brilliant stuff. Well done. And thank you, Shadaya your message appreciate that <laughs> at least you're playing along oh well let's hope we get some more back soon there are your sort of crucial tools aren't they yeah absolutely right so yeah great work if you've managed to get them in your basket so that's given us our panel there and then we're going to stick our other panels on so let me just find my pin pop that back and then switch now to my tape pens because they can just go down I like this as well, side. you know, if you are um, th you know, uh, thinking about watching this back at a later date and, um, you know, crafting along, I love the fact that, you know, this is one of those projects where you can, you know, if you want to do all your measurements, cut all your strips and your um, mats and layers out and get those ready to come back to a, a, a later date, it's one of those things, isn't it, that you can kind of almost prepare for and then have, a, you know, a later time of doing all the fun stuff of actually constructing the card itself. So however you want to do it, um, whatever works the best way for you, but hopefully, you know, it, we've broken this down nicely for you. The pace has been good. You know, we've come back and recapped on things for you as well. So um, hopefully it's fully understandable. And whether you're crafting along live now or you're going to use this uh, tutorial later, hopefully it is going to be um, super useful. And actually the whole point about these two is um, making these achievable for everybody, making them understandable, followable, uh, um, and easy because I always think, you know, particularly when you look at dies like this, if you're quite new to it, you might think to yourself, oh, they look fantastic. You know, they look so intricate, they look so detailed. There's no way that I'd ever be able to, you know, create something so beautiful. And that's the point of these craft belongs, isn't it? Mm. Just making oh, it achievable for everybody. I couldn't agree more. I think you couldn't have said it better, in fact, Ben, because that's exactly what it is. When people can do it in real time and craft along, uh, Ben is really congratulating himself now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I thought Ben was tired today, but he's not. He's just really full of himself today. <laughs> I love it. Confidence. Confidence uh, is amazing. I love it, Ben. <laughs> no, I'll just take that. I've never, you know, I've never had it. Ben just said it perfectly. Right, take that one. Note it down. <laughs> and what's really strange is, is you're quite a, a normal worrier, actually, Ben, and not one that would big yourself up. So uh, ah. I think you should have that confidence today. Well, thank you. Yes, one of uh, one of life's worriers, as we've always, uh, always chatted about, haven't we, behind yeah, the scenes? Yeah, absolutely. Terrible for that. I'm terrible for that. So what we're going to do is just stick this ex this one panel on mm -hmm. the back, so that's attached to there, so nice and simple. Uh, and then you've got your piece here which guides you, so I love the fact that this measurement gives you that complete guide uh, and then allows that to pop up. But we want that, that's because it's on its back, we want that when it's folded, oh, when it's stood stay. up, mm. we want it to stop. So in your pad, I'm going to bring my pad back in, so your watercolour card. Uh, and I do apologise for it. I hope you can still get these. I'm pretty sure that they are on the... Um I want to say that they are still available. Brilliant. Yeah, mm. that's good. Because you are right. Whoever said they... I do use it so much. Um, and it's going to come a time when I'm going to have to change it a bit more because uh, we will have sold out from them. But in the back of these, you'll see you've got all these different little toppers. So this is the one I use, my birthday wishes. So I'm yeah. just going to pop the other one out. And we're going to use that as our little stopper. So taking that off, I mean, obviously you can use however many you want, all the ones that you want. Um, and then what you have to make sure you do is you want your card to slide underneath. So don't stick this part. You just want to stick the end piece. So I'm going to just grab myself some foam pads. I love that in our um, a lot of our new paper pads as well. That you like you just pointed out there. There's like four pages at the back, isn't there, with those little die cut toppers and sentiments and stuff. Really mm -hmm. super handy for all sorts of. Products. Oh, absolutely. So what I would suggest is uh, yeah, and it's they're amazing because you can really decorate whatever you've got with them. There's loads. I love that fact about our paper pads. You just want to make sure when you put that there, you can't really see, but you don't want it to be further forward so uh -huh. it's from here you need your foam pad so I know from here to the end my foam pads will be perfect so I'm going to take that and place my foam pad it's a little bit oh I think we might get away with it let's yeah, it just perfect. get right to the end I think that's a perfect size so let's just pop that there and oh I don't think that could have been better so while it's up that way I would then take off the back in and place that onto there. And you've obviously just put the foam pad to the side so it will tuck underneath, haven't you? You what, sorry? You put the foam pad back a little bit so it's going to tuck underneath when yes. you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this bit is free, which means then when you put... I'm just going to come down and look underneath to make sure and that fits perfectly so yep. I know that that's not going to go anywhere. I can then push that down and that will then hold that in place. Hey, so that's brilliant. not going to go anywhere. So that's this bit here. So if I then fold it flat, you've got a flat card to post. Uh, and then you just tuck that. So you could put just put tuck card under sentiment in your little in a little note yeah. in there. So where uh, the recipient of this card, you can just send it to them and they'll know what tuck the card under the sentiment. What do you mean? And that's Perfect. So the last thing that we're going to do just to make it a little bit more glitzy, we're going to add some glitter and we're going to just add a few gems. Oh, and a ribbon. So I'm going to just bring in my gems and then I'm going to do some. So you can do either. We can uh, do our uh, wings here or we can make them 3D. So for now, what I'm going to do is just glue our wings and then I will show you what I've done to, um, to the uh, other piece. So I've actually pre-cut them out, cut them out again. But what you want to do is just take your glue and go all around your wings. Now remember our arms there, so we don't want to get it on our arms. We're just going to add that glue, going round and all over there. Now tacky glue is fine for a little while, so you don't have to worry about glitter until you've finished it all. We're going to just come round and just where that wing is. Yeah. 
just add your glue. I mean, these precision bottles, sorry, they've sold out, haven't they? That, well, they, yeah, they, yeah. they are. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Yes, I am sorry. These applicators are amazing. I'm sure you could probably just buy the applicators on their own now, though. So if you did just want to... No, oh, they're, no, no, they're gone. No, Shh, I'm me. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, those fine tip applicators, I want to say they only came, they only came back in stock very recently. So they are obviously very popular um, with uh, all of you here who watch uh, Crafted TV. I suppose they are super handy, particularly for uh, all of your intricate sticking. So uh, well done if you've got your hands on those. Just noticing um, Debbie's Tiffany bag there. If you love your uh, Tiffany products, we've got a Craft House, seven o'clock Saturday. Um, the Tiffany special on Craft House, three o'clock East Coast, if you want to join in uh, with that Saturday from three East Coast time. So what are you popping on here now? So I've just got some fine iridescent glitter. So yep. you can use any glitters. Yeah, I love Tiffany's, everything Tiffany. Honestly, I can't even tell you. And these little bags, I can't even, I didn't put a label on which, what these, oh, this yeah, one was. Great names, I've started they? doing it now, but I've forgotten which one this is. But it's ideal for all your glitters. It fits loads, all my Crafters Companion glitters, all my Chloe glitters. So whatever, your wow glitters. Uh, I love this little, uh, little bag. So that gives us our, uh, we, our wings. So I've just put a piece of card to catch all the glitter. Just going to then shake that off. And that just gives us, and you probably won't be able to see that, but you will, whoever receives the card or, um, and actually, if you're someone that doesn't like glitter, you could use our sparkle pens. Oh, yes. Uh, and do the clear, clear sparkle yeah, the clear over, overlay. yeah, mm. which would be, uh, which be, be beautiful. So the other way, what you could do is, I have also just cut the wings out again, uh, and we've just glittered the wings separately. So if you wanted to have extra wings, coming out you can actually um, you can decoupage them up so that will give you like a 3d effect there but these ones will uh, come up beautifully from uh, from your uh, design behind uh, and then we've got a little bow so I'm going to take my uh, ribbon off that I've done here I'll just put some red liner tape on yeah and I've just done a little bow at the side so we're going to pop one there and then I've just got some pearls. So these pearls, I think, uh, uh, they were out of one of my craft box. It might be the year of crafts or something like that. So we're just going to use our glue and I'm going to just place these. Uh, I'm just looking to where I place them on the card. We place them on this side. So let's just do them coming up. So nice piece of glue. Three. Three little dots of glue. Everything goes in um, an odd number. Absolutely. And then we're just going to pop these onto here. They probably actually, I th I've got a feeling I might have stuck them also with um, my 3D glue gel. That's why I put that on the list. Oh, okay. But uh, my tacky glue, as long as it dries and I leave that to dry, will work just as well. And there you go. That's our card. So if I turn that round, bring that up there. Let me move that all down. So you can see it's gone absolutely beautifully and I bring in this one exactly the same. Uh, so we've got two identical cards there. So I do hope that you've, um, you've uh, enjoyed crafting along with that card. It's just a nice different way uh, to do a card. So it's sort of like a pop out slider card. <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Thank you Debbie so much. It was brilliant to see wasn't it and actually making that card in real time so whether you've crafted along with us by the way if you have crafted along with us please do send in your pictures studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk um, even if you kind of just used a different die, maybe the papers that you used were slightly different. If you have been crafting along with the show over the course of the last hour and 15 minutes, we want to see what you've been do doing, please, because we're nosy. But also, we love to share what you've been doing, your creativity with everybody else. And I think, you know, when you do send in your pictures, it just goes to show that it is achievable for everybody. But the other great thing to say is if you did just watch this show, maybe you've got these dies already and you're thinking, Oh, I'd love to do it. You can come back, of course, and watch this show anytime you like on YouTube and craft along at your leisure, which is just brilliant. If you haven't uh, yet got the dies, then now is the chance for you to buy them because you, at least you know now that you've got full tutorial, full instruction as to how you can use these and create your own fantastic 
project. So if you go for the full collection, th there isn't a huge amount of stock left is what I will say. Uh, we are down into double figures on this, but if you want to go for it, pop these in your basket because you will get six of them. And with the main bundle that we got on the screen here, you, it works out that you're actually only paying for uh, five of them so you get one free and what we love about these is the fact that you've got so many different designs butterflies always an absolute must-have within your uh, crafty armory how gorgeous the detail is phenomenal with these um, and I love the fact again you know there's so much detail in the wings uh, details there within all the vines as well and the fact that you can manipulate those wings to give it even more uh, 3d-ness is amazing I'm coming up with words left right and center today aren't I um, the uh, birthday <laughs> the birthday party again how gorgeous is that going to look that create a card effect um, with the edgeable effect combined to create this absolutely stunning die I love it again look at the streamers look at the balloons and the detail that you've got in the cake there as well it is absolutely joyous and then the sunflowers these are your splendid sunflowers again plenty going on there as far as those um, dies are concerned hopefully you managed to get your hands on that um, uh, intricate uh, tools collection if you haven't um, Hopefully you've got your pokey tool and your die brush at the ready at home. The afternoon tea. Again, uh, you're going to have so much fun crafting with this. I love the design on here. You've got the little um, cups and saucers going on. And I know I've mentioned it before, but I just love that. The little tea bag hanging out the side of the cup. I just think is great. The more you look at these, the more you will see in the intricacies of the die cut itself. This is the one that we've just seen. So if you want to be able to um, fully recreate the demo that we've just seen, with um, Debbie on our craft along. That's the one that you need, your springtime fairy. And then finally, you have got the uh, delicate dragonflies, which I think producer George said um, are her favorites within this collection. And just to give you a bit of an idea as to um, a few of the ways that you can use these, um, we've got um, a few cards that I've been doing uh, no, I, <laughs> he's been busy during the craft along. No, I am not obviously uh, going to take uh, credit for these. Um, but have a look here. I love again how this is sort of used more centrally um, and then used uh, within that frame. Look how the um, wings have been manipulated, bit of glue around the outside to give that uh, an absolutely gorgeous finish. Uh, then on top of that one, here's your uh, birthday. Um, uh, Joe designing this one. Again, I suppose used a little bit more traditionally. You've got that creator card effect, got the edgeable, some beautiful background paper in the background. Um, I love the color combination there. Absolutely works brilliantly. Uh, then next up, I'm trying to do these in order. I think it's this one next. Uh, you have got your... Um, Splendid sunflowers. Um, once again here, the choice of um, colour is absolutely beautiful, making uh, the dyes really pop. And again, hopefully you're seeing um, the sort of difference between all of the different colours and the different ways that you can use these. This next one again is your afternoon tea. Um, once again, uh, beautifully die cut, but then um, uh, layered up too. So bringing kind of like the uh, the peach through to kind of highlight the intricacies of the die cut. And then um, some corresponding paper with that sort of damask finish on the background looks phenomenal. Here is the springtime fairy, which you have just seen in our craft along. Again, delicious colours on there, aren't they? Absolutely. Oh, I love that embossing folder as well. Uh, with the brickwork and the little mushrooms in the background. That works so beautifully, doesn't it? Um, with that springtime fairy. And I'm sure that you've got plenty of other uh, goodies within your collection at home that you can mix and match up uh, to really create the perfect card for you. And then last, but by no means least, here we go. This is uh, producer George's favorite, the uh, delicate dragonflies. She loves a dragonfly. She loves a dragonfly. But again, look at that how these um, wings have been beautifully manipulated uh, to give it that real 3D effect. So, 64.95 or 74.75 for all of these. As I've mentioned, if you want to go for smaller bundles, you can do that. Um, stocks are starting to dwindle because lots of you are going for the full collection, lots of you going for the smaller collections as well. So you can get the elegant butterflies, the birthday party and splendid sunflowers individually uh, from your fairies, your dragonflies and your afternoon teas. Uh, those are available individually. Now, uh, just to give you a bit of a heads up, if you want to, as I say, recreate step by step and kind of paper by paper uh, as to what Debbie was using, the uh, contemporary watercolour, we do have that available 
for you. So there it is um, on the web for you. Got the green tick on it, which is good. Uh, so it is in stock, 17 99 um, it's 12 by 12. 40 sheets, of course, don't forget. Uh, and within the back of that, you do get those four pages of the, um, the die cuts, which are super, super handy uh, for all sorts of projects as well. And of course, if you are gonna be um, shopping with us today, make sure you have a good peruse of the web. That's a good word, isn't it, peruse? Uh, because you will notice on there today, and lots of you were tweaking to this earlier on, that it is the start of our spring sale. It runs from today through until uh, week Friday. So Friday the 30th of April, up to 7 70% off. I, I had a little look as well. I know we're saying up to 70% off, but when I had a little look through, I some, saw some items at 75% off. Just putting that out there. Uh, but I'll go with the official line, up to 70% off across our website. Yeah, you see, I saw them. I saw them that those ones will go. Lots of stock will dwindle. So Amy, here's the thing. Let's give you a bit of time. If you've got something in your basket right now, we're going to give you a couple of minutes to check out your baskets. Uh, but as I say, if you are checking out now, definitely come back and have a look at our spring sales. Some absolute deals to be had right there. And we'll be back with you in just a few moments time. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25, and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1,500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money-saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. Become a member of our club today. There you go, full details about Club Inspire and uh, plenty of reasons to shop with us. Not only Club Inspire, uh, we've got our spring sale, of course, as well, and so many great deals. Uh, we've got some lovely comments coming in, which I'll just have a look at in just a few moments' time. I do want to turn our attention to some of the pictures that you've been sending in. Now, we've got some uh, beautiful projects that you have been sending in. I'm aware as well, um, George Square just telling me that they're now getting pictures of the projects that you've completed on the craft along that we've done with Debbie. So we'll show those in just a little bit. I'll give you a bit of time, if you have been crafting along, to take your picture. Uh, send it in on the email studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk and then we'll show the pictures of the uh, the craft alongs that you've done with us but lovely joy joy sampson has been very very busy indeed with these uh, creating some gorgeous cards look at this i have to come close to the screen at this point because i can't really uh, see the full effect um them out of all different colours yes. and, and layered them on that colour background. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Is that that's the new is that the new hunky dory card stock that we've got? Is that the eagle oh, blend that we had yesterday? Oh, look at you! Yes, you're right. It is, isn't it? You. Yes, eagle eye. I know it's because we loved it so much. <laughs> yeah, so, we did. Like, it's amazing. I must have flicked through it about a hundred times yesterday, so I know it well. Yeah, and, and she's gorgeous. also used that on her next project. Doesn't this these colours work beautifully with the butterflies? Ah. So much so. And it literally looks like they've dipped themselves in that background, doesn't it? And they've yeah. flown out of that background. That is beautiful. Is that, is that, um, is that buttons on there as well, is it, that she's added to... Uh, yeah, it does card. look like buttons. Really love these, Joy. And then one final one. Look at this take on the uh, springtime fairy. Wow, mm. that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, and it works so well. And I'm so glad you've used uh, the adorable scoreable Joy because it really is just amazing cardstock to cut into, to score, to fold. It's amazing. And I think that certainly does, again, show you why the adorable scoreable is so good because it is so, so super uh, usable. Um, 
Loving the style of the bow, says Marie from the uh, from the craft along. Love the card, says Deborah. Gloria saying, what a great card. I will certainly have to look at the replay for sure. Uh, Michelle saying, thank you for all the work you guys put in to teach us. It is much appreciated. It is all Debbie. You can send your thanks Debbie's way. Uh, Susie T saying, I love, 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 love. Uh, creator card type <laughs> dies. You love them. Uh, I'm totally obsessed. Uh, and uh, Susan Elliott on YouTube, uh, Facebook has just said, my yodel, or oh, sorry, Mr. Yodel, delivered my conic, Mr. Yodel. <laughs> yodel, eh? <laughs> there you go. Uh, Mr. Yodel delivered my Connie Fong Angels collection. Oh, they are also cute. Just love them. We've got those coming up a little bit later on for you um, as well. Um, and just one quick question uh, Crafty AJ has for Debbie. Uh, ben, please can you ask Debbie, where's Gloria today? Ah, so I did wonder if someone was stocking. I actually, I've come up to HQ without my own bag. So Gloria's at home. Oh. Yeah, so, uh, so yes, this poor little thing hasn't got one. I did make one for here, but I think it probably got chopped away. Oh, boo! Yeah, I know, it's, not, it's not here. Uh, but we definitely need a Gloria. Yes, I was really missing it, and I did wonder if someone was spotted. It's so a well spotted. Just for people who wonder what on earth we're talking about. Uh, glory, yes, is so. Uh, glory is the top of a water bottle. So you just cut the top of the water bottle, and when you take the lid off, the glue pot just sits in the top. Uh, so it's just like a really simple invention, but it works so well with your little glue as your glue holder. So there you yes, go. that's it's Gloria the glue booth. <laughs> because we, oh, yeah, we, glue because booth. we had we had um, we had uh, Brenda the spray, spray booth, booth, so we had Gloria, Gloria then the, the glue, glue booth. booth. Yes, yeah, so, all good. Yes, right. So now we're going to do a really quick little box just to put our card into. So we don't need a thick box. We're going to do quite a thin box, but we're going to bring in our scoreboard. Now the first thing you need to do when you are making a uh, card or an envelope or a box uh, is getting the measurements right of what you need it for. So when I place this down on here, I can see on my A4 piece of cardstock, I've not got a lot of room round. So I would say I've probably got about maybe three quarters of an inch, half an inch, I would say half an inch uh, to go all the way round. So I know what my measurements of my card are. So my measurements of my card are seven by eight inches and I want to score it on all sides at half an inch. So I want to add an inch on each side. So for I'm going to make my card and my box, sorry, yeah. eight, and not, eight by nine inches. So I'm going to take both pieces at the same time so popping them together. I'm then going to grab my guillotine. And then in the guillotine, we're going to take out our stepper. Now I like to cut both of, because of the crafter's companion, companion guillotine, I know that it will cut through both my pieces of card at the same time. If you do have one that's not so sharp or it gives you a jagged edge, uh, just do them separately. But for a box, they need to be absolutely identical. So I'm going to pop both of the pieces through. I'm going to first of all, just make sure that's on a flat surface. I'm going to put that to nine inches. So we're going to place that in position and cut that down. And then I'm going to go down and do this at, uh, it's, so I'm just going to do it to our eight inches there. Okay. And cut that down. So that gives me an inch each size uh, for our box, which means I need four different size, sides. So we're going to come in with our scoreboard and do this on each side, come in for half an inch. Now, what I'm going to do to start with is we're going to be doing it onto our left-handed side. So bringing in my score tool. Now, because this is sent, uh, because this is mirror card, just go very lightly. So I'm going to go to my half an inch and I'm just going to lightly score it down. I don't like to do it too hard to start with because you don't want it to crack. Now, what I would recommend on mirror card is doing it on both sides because then you don't get that crack um, at the side. You just need to be uh, more softer with your scoring tool. Okay. So all I'm doing is going round each side just a couple of times just so that gives us a nice score line. And then I am going to go on to the back now and just score that again. So that just gives me extra scoring and what it does is it helps to really loosen the fibres in the cardstock. Uh -huh. And the, the scoreboard's double sided isn't it? So it's, um, whatever measurements you tend to go by you've got both yep. is it imperial and... 
metric, isn't it? Absolutely, yes, mm. yes. Yeah, so you get both. So whatever you want to work with. So this is about sort of one centimetre, isn't it? So uh, half an inch. So that gives us all our scoring around each side. Now, when it comes to your second piece of card, I'm going to turn my ball round so you can see. Uh, we've got our box base written at the top there. So we're going to do the, exactly the same, but this time we're doing it on our opposite end. So, so the fact that the reverse of it is the, so it's slightly narrower, I guess, is it? So that it makes the Yeah, space. this bit here has got a slight different width about yes. it to what the other side of the board has, yes. Perfect. But it makes box making really, really simple. It's kind of like a core craft room tool, this really, isn't it? The oh, so much. I, c I don't even know what I did without it. Oh, really? Yeah, I honestly, Ben, it's the one I go to all the time. Yeah. It's the one that travels around the house with me. It's the one that I keep by the side of me because it is, it's so handy, incredibly handy. So again, I'm going on the back and just going down because it's easy to uh, actually rip, even though it's a cardstock it's very easy to rip through yeah. mirror card if you're not careful because it has that sort of um, because it has that coating that coating is easily split so just take your time going down I mean you can use whatever cardstock you want to so but I just thought as we've got this as our a rim underneath I would uh, then use it so we're going to then just gently very gently fold those lines so can you see I've got a really beautiful crisp edge yeah um, because I've really been quite gentle with being able to fold them and obviously you get the Invella box creator with this um, collection as well. So you, your score master obviously for doing things like making your card blanks and making your boxes. The Invella box, as it says mm -hmm. on the screen, is for making yep. those... Making your envelopes. Envel envelopes, yeah. Or Envella boxes, yes, exactly. which means boxes like this, mm -hmm. yes. Um, uh, and I didn't work out, I'd have to try and work out what the measurements are, but I think this card might be too big uh, to make an envelope, so um, you'd need quite a, a big piece of cardstock. So once we've done that, I always like to then snip into our boxes. So we're going to snip in and then I'm going to take a little triangle off and then snip this piece out. That just gives me a really neat way of putting those edges together and you get just that really professional look. And I'm going to do that all the way around. Some people do it on each side so it's uh, the same. It doesn't matter. I just go round the sides as I see them. We've got, I'll, I'll recap on it for you in just a minute's time, but we have got um, plenty of cardstock for you on the show as well. So if you're in need of uh, cardstock to create your, um, your card blanks, to create your boxes as well, we have plenty to bring to you. Um, lots of it on uh, a four for 30 or 42 deal as well, which is rather good. All of the cardstock that you want really from our sort of luxury range through to kind of the uh, bog standards, if you like, your, you know, your white card, your matte black and your craft, it's all in there for you. Uh, details on your screen though now for the luxury purple card stock, um, which is what Debbie's using. So you get 10 sheets of the matte mirror, 10 sheets of the mirror, and what's the other one I've forgotten? 10 sheets of the glitter card stock as well. So it's rather nice, rather nice. Yeah, it's nice. beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So we've got this, before we construct our box, what I do want to do is I want to create, uh, so using, we're going to grab a piece of card from our uh, paper pad so the same one that we've used actually on our card now i know my card width is seven by eight inches which means this is the same on the inside here because it's what's going to fit our card directly into the box so we're then going to trim this to just under eight and seven inches so bringing in our guillotine pop in my little foot up that's coming handy today, isn't it? The old it has, guillotine. Yeah, absolutely. Have we got are the guillotines available? I guess they must be. I guess they must be on the uh, the website. That's the larger one that we've got there. Yeah. So I'm going to trim this to seven and three quarters of an inch. Okay. And by six and three quarters of an inch. There we go. And those same ones, because I know that I've got that quarter of a centimetre, uh, sorry, a quarter of an inch, inch yeah. I'm just going to do a little strip 
going down. So I'm just using my guillotine as a guideline. So where your piece comes up on your guillotine, I'm lining up my card to that. So it's not, it's just a strip more than anything else. But that strip is enough, if I just bring this over, it's enough just to go oh, along those edges. Yes. And it's just one, one way to actually measure it up without a measurement there. So I'm going to do that one edge and then we're going to do this one. So again, I'm lining that up just to that where I've got my fingers. And then we're going to do that again, but this time we are cut these ones down because they're going to go on our side. Okay. Um, Rebecca on uh, YouTube is saying, loving this show, so thank you. Uh, the shine on the card, just fabulous, says um, Aisha. And Mary Pat 1000 on YouTube, I love this. I schedule my doctor's appointment around CTV. <laughs> now that is, I know we've got some it's super brilliant. fans, but that's brilliant. My clinic is so accommodating, <laughs> life is so good. Uh, get to give my doctor my uh, vaccine experience update today. Well, hopefully it was good, Mary Pat. And we appreciate that uh, you obviously got your, you know, your, um, you know, uh, life in the right order. Order, CTV, then doctor's appointments. Absolutely brilliant. I love that. And thank you for all of you who are watching right now. Super busy uh, across Facebook and uh, YouTube right now. If you have crafted along during this show, keep those pictures coming in. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a uh, craft along gallery coming up. Um, towards the end of the show, which unbelievably is in 25 minutes time. I don't know where the time has gone. Thoroughly enjoyed this show. It's been great. I actually know what, uh, Ben, I was actually thinking I'll do a bit more of a simpler card this yeah. time because I always do quite, um, uh, not complicated, but I like to uh, be able to do uh, quite an in-depth into projects yeah uh, but I thought this one would take about an hour we'd be done in an hour and then we'd have a nice hour of doing some extra crafting um, and I can't believe where the time's gone now flown by so it has flown by flown yes by. now because I'm not sure which was my box and my base I'm going to make them up first before I stick down so I am just using my um, tape pen uh -huh on the edges, it's nice and strong and it sticks really well to mirror card. So it's a great one for doing your quick, quick, <laughs> quick, Easy for you to say. quick crafting, <laughs> uh, but also getting that strong hold at the same time. Is, would you, what, so <laughs> listen to me, I can't think, <laughs> no, would, you would, can't would, speak. Would, would, um, red liner tape or um, tape pens? Oh, either. I mean, red liner tape, you can't beat red liner tape. Mm. It's very strong. I mean, incredibly strong. But a bit quicker using your tape pen. Yeah, figure. totally quicker. You haven't got to take any of the sides off. You haven't uh, oh, peeled the backing off the carrier sheet. Uh, it's just instant, isn't it? Which is, uh, which is amazing. So all the sides will fit absolutely perfectly. I'm really excited to see people's pictures. I know, I can't I love wait. about the craft along with people crafting. Just to say as well, and I'll drop this in now, uh, with the craft along, if you ever decide, like, I think we give you a kind of fair warning as to when these craft alongs are coming up and we uh, let you know, uh, you know, when particular products are going to feature. If you fancy coming on a future craft along, then we'd love to have you on the show. Um, and that was kind of what it was obviously designed for, to have you crafting along at home, but also to have you with us here on Crafters TV as well. And, and what I would say is, if you're one of those people thinking, oh no, I'm a little bit scared, don't want to be on TV, it's going to be a little bit frightening. It really isn't. Um, we're, we're lovely, we're friendly, we'll uh, help you through it, and I just think you'll have the best time. And from my experience, the people who've been on uh, the shows that I've done have been a little bit nervous to start with, have always said come the end, they absolutely loved it, and uh, they would come back and do it again. I always think it's like, you know when you um, want to go on a roller coaster at a theme park, for example, and uh, you know you're a little bit worried about getting on the roller coaster, but then once you're on it and you've done the ride, you're thinking, why was I so worried about that? And you're back in the queue. You're back in the queue again, and that exactly will be you, I'm sure, if you decide to come and do this with us. If you want to be with us on Crafters TV, uh, you can email us Crafters TV Guest at CraftersCompanion.co.uk. That's a new one. I've not seen that one before. Crafters TV guest at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Email us on that and we'll put you to the front of the queue. I mean, why would you not want to come and join us when you've got the likes of, you know, the lovely Debbie to, to, to craft along with, you've got the two Georges in the gallery. I mean, you'd have to put up with me, but you know, <laughs> it's not going to be a perfect experience every time, is it? But, well, know. don't put them off now, <laughs> You know, Joe jo will be back. You might get Joe, yeah. You might get Joe if, if you're lucky. Keep everything crossed, you know. 
<laughs> oh dear. How are you getting on with your box over there? Yeah, I'm nearly done. So I've got my last little tab to stick down. There we go. So we've just got oh, these. I don't think the glue, there's glue sticking very well on this today. I think it's the lights in here. So um, let me put it onto this part. Because you turn the fan off over there, you see. Normally it's it cooler is, that yeah. side of the studio. And, and it's, normally it's I get really warm, but I was actually getting chilly. So the fan went off today. So, uh, and actually, it's quite a nice temperature today. Yeah, it is. It's I don't know what it's like outside. Is it sunny today? Oh, I don't know. Not been out there since about uh, eight o'clock this morning. I was in early this morning. It looks, oh, it's cloudy. It always looks darker when you look out there because we've got like the dark uh, windows, haven't we, on the doors out there. 13 degrees apparently in, in, in uh, Newton Acliff and cloudy. That, that's nice for up here, to be honest with you. You know, you take cloudy and 13 degrees. Oh, it's colder tomorrow, I've just been told. There you go. That was your weather report. And now you're up to date. <laughs> always getting warmer towards the weekend, apparently. Oh, it'd be nice Sunday because I'm up, up again Sunday. Oh, yeah? Yes. Are you in Sunday, Ben, or have I got Joe? I am. What day is it today? What day is it? It's Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm back in on Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Ah, so I won't see you. I'll have Joe ah. back. Uh, it will be Joe. It will be Joe. Becky's in tomorrow. And then it, it will be Joe Thursday... Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There you go. There we go. So all change. I do love a Sunday, though, I have to say. What, in general or here? Yeah, in, no, at work. Yeah, what? I love Second Chance Sunday. Is that because you get to influence the vote? Oh, no, 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 <laughs> not at all. I wasn't even thinking of that. I love it because it's like we always, we're asked like what products we like what, and then people say what they've liked and, and it literally is that second chance where lots of things come up in the show. It's a really good show because it's jam-packed with yeah. so much. So, yeah, I absolutely love a second chance Sunday. And you can also influence the vote uh, on your demo, <laughs> which, which may well be uh, Debbie's craft along card, which she made a little bit earlier on. I reckon if you chuck this box in as well, you know, put there's a little two-piece effort, uh, it, it could be the one. I'm just looking at the board over there. You've won it twice before, Debbie, craft of the week. Uh, no, but look at Debbie. She's Debbie roaring four. ahead. Debbie Fisher. Four. Yeah, no, no, not me. Debbie oh, sorry, Robinson. Debbie Robinson. Yeah, Debbie Robinson. Yeah. Four. Yes, amazing. Four times, yeah. Mind you, it's anyone's game, I suppose. Yeah, to be fair, and this isn't taking anything away from her last week. Uh, I think she was in quite a lot. So, I mean, a lot of it will depend on how many finished projects you've got in the, in yeah, the seven. Yeah, that's very true. And I think she had about five of the seven last week. So she had a, she had, she had a good chance of winning. <laughs> she had a good chance of winning. Um, lovely comments coming in. Thank you for all of these. Just whilst we're watching uh, Debbie stick the uh, the box together. Loving the luxury cardstock, says Stephanie. I'll give you a, um, a pick and flick through that in just a few moments' time so you can see all of the different colours. Cathy on Facebook says, Hope everyone's having a great day. I've been watching on my big screen TV whilst I organise all my new CC purchases uh, crafting this afternoon. Good day. Um, and Ginny just saying, uh, love that I can go back and re-watch later. Yeah, absolutely. If you get on YouTube, give us a little subscribe and then, um, yeah, you can watch this show back and indeed all of the shows. Um, so you're in the back of the uh, the uh, paper pad there, the four pages of... Um, mm, I thought of we might as well um, uh, top them. I mean, how amazing are these? So we might as well use them as our toppers. So we've got a few bits here and our With Love. I haven't got a ribbon to put through there, but I'm sure you'll forgive me for that. And then we will just use our... And the good thing is we use our foam topper. Sorry, I didn't finish my sentence then. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the great thing about these is that um, you can just literally put adhesive on them, stick them down, uh, and you've got beautiful toppers there. Uh, thank you, Astrid, on Facebook, who says, you'd be a great weather presenter, Ben. You could sport all sorts of waistcoats. Was that because <laughs> I was just talking about the weather just then? Maybe. A weather presenter. Think you could do, could you, oh, because Ben's very good at, um, uh, like, voices. Oh, yeah. Are you any good at weathers, like, weather noises? <laughs> I don't, do you know what? It's something yeah, like wind, oh. and like, you could be a well, weatherman with the wind. I've been told over the years I'm a little bit windy. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know if that's the sort of wind that you're referring to. I don't know, actually. Voices, the sound effects, I don't know. I tell you what, in between shows, I'll go and have a practice and see, uh, see how good my, uh, my sound effects are. 
But here we go. Let's get back on topic here and look at how beautiful so this is. So we've got our gorgeous box and then we we'll pop that in. And then we've got our gorgeous box to pop that in. And there we go. Look at that. Um, I think that's brilliant. Really, that box just finishes the whole thing yeah, off. Yeah, it really does. And it's just so nice that we've got that beautiful card inside that we can just take out, slot it into there, and then that gorgeous one there. And there we go. Absolutely phenomenal. I, I love the fact in that box as well that you have got even more room if you wanted to pop in, I don't know, a little gift card or a little um, present in there as well, then that would be phenomenal. Um, I mean, demo of the show, seriously. Hopefully we'll get time to squeeze in one more, but I'm kind of thinking you probably want that to go up on uh, Crafty Walk of Fame. But listen, let me just recap on a few other bits and pieces for you. If you want to be able to make uh, your boxes with ease, if you want to be able to make your own card blanks with ease, the Score Master is certainly um, a tool that you would uh, go for if you haven't already got it. Um, the great thing, of course, it's in Imperial and Metric as well, depending on you know, what measurements you work in. And then you've got your Envella Box Creator as well for making your envelopes, for making those Envella boxes. Um, it, it's a great collection. And as we said, kind of like a craft room staple. Once you've got this, you'll come back to using it time and time again. £18 or $23, saving 30%, and another 20% will come off that price. Uh, of course, if you are a Platinum member, absolutely worth um, popping into your basket if you haven't got one of those, as we said, a bit of a craft room staple. Right, uh, it is time to have a bit of a look at the uh, gallery of what you've been making. So these are all of the cards that uh, you have been crafting along with us over the course of the last um, hour and a half. I love this. I get very excited about the fact that you're uh, there watching us on your TVs at home and uh, crafting at the same time. So let's have a look. Obviously, Debbie was working with the springtime fairies, but a few of you, like Debbie, have chosen your own. Georgina will be pleased. Oh, she loves the dragonflies. Um, but look at that. That is phenomenal. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, using, uh, I think, some of the our glitter card there as well. A few little embellishments to really highlight that. Love that. Now, Val has uh, definitely been crafting along with you. What do you make of this, Debbie? Marks out of 10. Oh, absolutely 10. That's beautiful. Yep, yeah, she's done the back layering back, yeah. behind. Yeah, the beauty. Yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. Love that. Perfectly oh, done. I'm so happy you've all These, crafted along. Oh, great. And Terry, uh, Terry Tom Anderson also crafted with us uh, using the butterfly. Oh, I love the cardstock. Oh, that's dramatic, there. isn't mm. it? That's gorgeous. I love monochrome. Honestly, it's just so pretty. Yeah, really love that. Our oh, happy birthday sentiment, the butterfly. I do love the butterfly ones, I have to say. Beautiful. I'm loving the fact that so many of you crafted with this, but I'm also slightly disappointed that nobody came on and joined us live on TV. Dawn Dawn's been crafting along as well. Terry, um, Dawn, you all need to get in you contact. Do. You can craft with us live on air. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that is gorgeous. I love that. Love the colours you've used. It's beautiful. Same pad, I think, that one, Dawn. It's just in yes. the blue she's done. It's gorgeous. Um, and then uh, Barbara has also been crafting along with us um as well oh gorgeous makes really lovely barbara oh they're lovely thank you so much oh and, and let, let's just reiterate next time we need you on the show with us uh, when we're doing the craft along as i say we always give you a bit of a heads up um as to um, when these are coming up so if there is something that you've already got uh, then you think to yourself, oh, I'd like to go and uh, craft along with the guys, then get in touch with us because we would really, really uh, love to have you on the shows. Just want to quickly recap on your uh, creator cards. Where have boards gone? Oh, they're down here. Um, you're going to get all six within the bundle. There are two mini bundles um, if you want to go that way, but the main value for money is in this full bundle because you get all six, but you're only actually paying for five. And you know, you've seen in the pictures that we've just seen there, uh, some of the things that you can create, some of the beautiful projects that you know our uh, viewers are creating as well. So within the full bundle, you are going to get your elegant butterflies. You're then also going to get, uh, I think five people are one of my favorites actually, the birthday party. Uh, and then you're also going to get your um, sunflowers too, your splendid sunflowers. Those three make up a smaller bundle. However, we will continue on because the next three make up the big bundle for which you've got the details right now. This is your afternoon tea. 
Uh, then you've got the, uh, the die which we used in the craft along, so the Springtime Fairy. And then lastly, you've got your Delicate Dragonflies. So all six of these in that main collection. We don't have, as I say, huge amounts of stocks. We are uh, heading down into low double figures on these. Uh, and the main bundle means that you do get uh, one of those for free. You pay for five, but you actually get all six of those uh, for the deal on the screen today. 64.95 or 74.75, um, less your 20% if you're platinum, uh, means you get a super, super deal. I've just seen actually one more uh, fixture. Can we just quickly say this before we go across to, uh, to Debbie? Uh, PPE, Pam, we love you, Pam. Here we go. A new pan would be crafted along with us. That's Absolutely. gorgeous. Absolutely. And it's so pretty. Again, I'm so glad you've all got that contemporary paper pad. It's beautiful. Uh, I love all the blues you've used on there, Pam. It looks spectacular. A beautiful card. Brilliant. I hope you like that design. Let us know if you've loved that designer card. Or if you know what type it is, if you know there's a name for it, because I don't know whether there's a what name for What did you call it? That. You had a snazzy name for it. Oh, no, I just said it was sort of a pop-out slip-in card. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> pop out slip in <laughs> works for me uh, yes yeah, so let us know if there is an actual name for it uh, but brilliant so pleased that so many of you enjoyed the show uh should I just saying the craft along was brilliant debbie thank you for all the inspiration oh, you're very welcome we've got just enough time i think for one final demo uh with about nine minutes or so left what can you show us in the last uh, last little bit debbie yeah absolutely it's really good to just get another demo in of just showing you different uses with them i'm going to be using that delicate dragonfly because it is a beautiful design and I'm going to show you it cut into a slightly different card now I've got a pre-made card but this is just a stepper card now any stepper card would be fine as long as you have a space in the center that is six inches by four inches and that will fit your creator card dies so we're going to pop this into the center here I'm just going to open up my card we're going to pop that in here now it does come off the edge because this is a large card but I'm not worried because what we can do is we can send it through and then reverse it so we don't have to worry about this side. I'm then just going to take some of my low tack tape and take this onto the, our card. So just taking off a bit of that sticky and then we're going to pop that into place and I'm just leaving the sort of same amount of gap so I'm doing it up into this edge uh, and I'm going to leave the same sort of amount of gap around so there we go pop that into place and then run that through so because I, I'm using the uh, Gemini we can uh, send that through and then I can reverse it so I haven't got to worry about this extra bit of card at the bottom well, actually, as it's nearly through, we might as well let that go through. That will be fine. I just don't like putting extra bits of card through because you do have those sort of rollers that oh, go yeah, through. But um, just for safety, so uh, it's best to sort of reverse. But it would have took a bit longer, and I want to get the demo done. I know we're uh, fast coming to the end of the couple of hours. We are. We've got another couple of hours later on, haven't we? Whoa. And do you know what, Ben? I know we probably always say it, but it just seems to get quicker and quicker every single time. Yeah. But we have such fun on these shows I think that is why isn't it it just uh, goes in no time at all yeah and I, I love particularly with this one as I say that it's a little bit more uh, laid back it's a little bit more sort of educational if you like uh, but we do have the fun we do have the banter um, and certainly later on you're going to be seeing lots of that and bargains galore launch party later on we've got the launch of the new uh, crafters inspiration magazine oh yes we finally get to have a look in it I genuinely haven't looked in it yet I, I, I thought I'd save that experience for doing it with uh, with you at home so we shall open that up and uh, have a good look through there later on with all the freebies that you get can't wait for that show uh three o'clock eastern time fabulous uh, so what we've done here bend those down there we go that's better i was thinking that looked a little bit odd uh, i've just snipped across the top and i've got myself some pattern papers uh, just to decorate so i'm using i'm carrying on the theme with those uh, beautiful papers and we're going to pop that across like this so nice and easy but you can see how it looks just totally different uh, so think of all the different concept cards that you've got and um, the different sort of pre-made blank cards that you've got because there's probably lots of them that you can cut these dies into and create something just totally different so putting that across and then we'll just affix these panels at the side 
There's not much suggestion of what the name of the card was that you made on the, um, the craft along, but Pam says, I've lo I love the card, Debbie. Uh, I've nearly finished the Dragonfly Die 2. Pam, you have been, seriously, crafting like mad there. Uh, and Mary Lee just saying, love the design of that card. I know I will make many more of those, Debbie. Yes, so thank me too. You. Yeah, thank you. absolutely. I think it's a great style of card. And actually, it's what's nice about the craft along. It's, it's learning new ideas. Yeah. But as well as going back to those basics of mat and layering, and I know we were getting a bit confused with all the, um, the different mats and layers earlier, but it's a really nice way of just showing how you can do those mats and layers. And they're the sort of thing that a lot of people, we forget, you can get quite mixed up in them. Yeah. So what I am going to do now, Ben, I'm going to grab myself a little scrap piece of card because I'm going to really highlight these wings. So what I do want to do is make sure we're not going to get ink anywhere that we don't want to. I'm not worried about going through onto this base piece of card because I've actually got some nice card to cover that up. But what I am going to do is I'm taking my fuchsia, my lemon tonic and my parakeet and we're going to use all these colours to blend into our dragonflies. So to start with I'm using our daubers as well because they're small and they can really get into those intricate spaces so I'm just going to go there with our pink I'm going to bring up these um, butterfly not butterfly uh, dragonfly dragonfly wings yeah so we can go down into this part as well I've seen this finger dormers a lot today Craig was using those earlier on oh, and, I love um, them yeah, they're your favourites, aren't they? I, absolutely. I use them daily. Like, they're just the best thing since sliced bread, in my opinion. Are you, <laughs> best thing since sliced bread best with finger dormers. Are you the crop? I can't remember who it is, but I'm sure someone was telling me, or maybe they were winding me up. It may be you, because you love them so much. You can have, like, four different ones on four different fingers and then yes like yeah you put all different ones so you on. can you can do that can yeah you? you can do yeah i don't I, I normally do two at a time i think it can be a little bit difficult to uh, remember <laughs> and also and i would put them into the wrong the wrong <laughs> one yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, i you. would dab my fingers into the wrong one yeah absolutely but I love these colours. Look how we're blending. So we're getting that pink into orange, into yellow, into green, into blue. Yet we're only using three different colours. Uh, which one? There we go. Don't want to get confused. <laughs> You're doing where that. I'm going. I, I know, it. exactly. <laughs> I think, sadly, the finger daubers are out of stock, I think we established earlier oh, on. Ah, that's uh, a shame. There we are. You they can will use, be back. You've got your normal... Um, They'll be back. Your normal daubers. Yes, they will be back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they sell out time and time again. So just add in that extra detail. And it's actually something we forget to do sometimes is add that ink to our uh, die cuts. Yeah. We just think we should die cut them or cut them out of beautiful papers. But actually, we can really highlight their beauty in these images. Love these colours as well. It, we see these quite a lot, don't we? These um, three colours working. So it's parakeet, they are, yeah. lemon tonic and the fuchsia, isn't it? Yes, they are, Just yeah. Perfect. I think they're probably most of our favourites. Mm. They're the ones that I always sort of turn to. I love parakeet. Oh, look, what? I'm doing it. I'm putting the... Uh, I was thinking, why has that gone green? See, I led you to I'll take the blame for that one. I shouldn't have mentioned it really, green. should I? You were, you were going along quite nicely. I was doing well, yes. And I opened my big mouth. wasn't concentrated, but mm. we've got a bit of a green going on. But that's I fine. Like I quite like it, yes. We're not going to worry about that. So let's pop these. Our dragonfly the expert in the gallery, Georgina, has just said, well, you do a few dragonflies with that blue and green kind they of... They make nice wings, stencils so. as well. I mean, we've only yeah. done a little bit of the wing, but you could stencil through these. These would look amazing. So you can see that's really highlighted it, but by masking underneath, it's left this really beautiful and white. Uh, and then we're going to use our blue underneath. So I'm going to take my tape pen again and affix this to the inside. So just using that pop that on the inside there and that will give us our matten layer i think you've timed that perfectly because we're almost out of time oh well that's good and the only difference we need to do is if we've got just a oh where's it gone there it is i've just got a sentiment to pop on the bottom there and some gems just to put into place i'm just going to pop that along there and then pop some gems up the top here and then we've finished Marvelous. so nice little easy one to do but a real difference with adding that pop of color there we go
Fantastic. And I think as much as that is a beautiful card, um, if you're happy, because we haven't done a vote, we're going to put through your uh, Craft Along card as your demo of the show, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes, with the, with the box that we created as well. Okay, it's a combo deal, absolutely. Uh, well, what a fantastic couple of hours. If um, you didn't see the craft along, if you just caught the end of it, you can, of course, re-watch this show. If you've already got the creator card, Seen Edge Dies, uh, then you definitely need to watch this back and craft along. If you haven't yet got them, uh, this is a good time now to uh, pop these into your basket and check out. And then, of course, you know that your dies are on their way to you and you know that you've got this craft along to use when those dies arrive. Debbie, brilliant as always. Thank you so much. Should we come back and do something else at seven? Oh, why not? Let's yes. do it. <laughs> uh, listen, lots more to come. Uh, we will be back in just a couple of hours and we've got a very exciting show coming your way. Uh, Three o'clock East Coast, seven o'clock UK. And here are some more details. Bye for now. Make sure you stick around because a little later today at 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern time, we've got a launch party for you and oh, brand new Crafters Inspiration is coming your way. Launch party is where we launch brand new products. You'll also have an out of this world deal and an explorer's kit for you too. So don't miss that a little later today. And then tomorrow we always kick things off in style with Wake Up Call with Craig, midday here in the UK, 7 a.m. Eastern time. And he is going to be joined by the lovely Becky. Make sure you come along and say hello to the guys then. Take care.